First round of NCAAs, a little bit dramatic, I guess you could say. You beat Cal State Fullerton in penalty kicks, and where do you start with a game like that? I guess, you know, you trailed 2-0, 3-2, came back both times. It says a lot about your team's ability to handle adversity. Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, Fullerton is an exceptional team. Um, their forwards are, are, are fantastic. Uh, two shots, two goals, each one of them had one, so... Uh, it was exactly what we thought they were, um, a very organized team that, that knows how to win. Um, but the resolve of our team was fantastic on the day um, to, to continue to push. They never stopped believing the fact that they could get back into the game. Um, and, and so they just kept going at it, and, and uh, we were fortunate to get back on the board and, and, and make a game of it. And the two names that really stand out in that game, at least to me, you know, Sammy Joe making the two saves and PKs, huge, mm -hmm. obviously. And Morgan Andrews with a hat trick. She scored your last five goals. I mean, those two, probably the, the key components of that team right now. Um, you know what? I, I think, obviously, it's still a, a team win. Um, but when you have those kind of performances on any day, uh, you, have to, you have to take a look at it. I, I think uh, you can't overlook Kayla and, and what she did in terms of her assists on the day. Uh, Mandy's, Mandy being a lockdown midfielder helps us on the day. But um, Morgan, Morgan was special. Um, just being willing to take the shots, being willing to take the risk, um, I, I think is a big part of it. And so uh, to see her get those three was fantastic. And I know she was frustrated early in the year um, because she wanted to have a similar impact then. Um, but look at her now. Uh, she's finding a way. And with Sammy Joe, I, I think it was a tale of a, of a crazy day for her. Um, I don't think she felt like she played that well within regulation. Um, but then to come up with two massive saves and, and the penalties kind of brings it all back. But it, I think that says a lot for her, too, um, in that she stayed confident. She knew she had a job to do. Um, and when it really mattered, she was there for the team. So uh, massive, massive games for both of them. And you brought up Kayla. We didn't actually touch on this last week, but Pac-12 Defensive Player of the Year, <laughs> uh, much deserved, yeah. obviously. No, Kayla's, Kayla's had an unbelievable year. Uh, I, I think last year when we threw her in the back, it was one of those still in transition, figure it out. Um, but she does so much on both sides of the ball. She's a great tackler of the ball. Um, but she's such a big part of our, our, our ability to attack. Um, and so um, she's had a wonderful year, and I'm just happy that she has, has been rewarded um, for it. Now you're on round two of the NCAA's Friday. You're in Virginia against Princeton at 1 o'clock. Tell us a little bit about this Princeton team and the threat they pose. Uh, you know what? It's it's another team similar to Fullerton. They're, they've had a wonderful year. Um, they've got you know some great attacking personalities. They defend well as a unit. Uh, very hardworking team. Um, they're, but their attacking personalities are, are, are special. Um, both forwards and their attacking mid, great service of the ball. They beat a, a really good Boston College team in the first round. So... Um, it's, it doesn't get any easier, um, just on a different coast. <laughs> yeah, how do you help the team handle the pressure? Because obviously it's one and done now. Um, well, we've been we've been sort of trying to be in that mode for a while. Um, as we were trying to, to stake a claim for the Pac-12 championship, we talked about trying, you know, finishing the, the last five games of the season with wins. And unfortunately, we weren't able to against Stanford, but that was, that was sort of the way we kind of prepared for this. Um, and I think we've sort of been in it, but... It, the first round game in itself, you know, the highs, the lows, the excitement, the, the down moments, um, that in itself kind of keeps you locked into to the importance of every moment of the game. And, you know, that's our, our model for the year, one moment, one now, and this is, this is the next one up.